We then drove to the demonstration workshops for the paper umbrellas. Although the majority of the umbrellas on sale in the shop over the road would have to have been made elsewhere, this provided a fascinating picture of how it is done. They would make beautiful sunshades, I'm not sure about tropical rain. The artist who paint the designs will also take commission from onlookers to have a design painted on anything you have handy. I offered my camera case. A bargain for me at 100 baht, about £2. Probably a nice little earner for the artist. Water, we filter the water and we 
we use it. That's a fair one. It's like it's the same as doing icing on cakes, you know. This lacquerware is beautiful but quite expensive. We contented ourselves with buying two small trays. Known to the Chinese since between 3 and 4000 BC, silk finished products were exported along the silk route, but the source of the fibre remained an industrial secret until about 400 AD when first Japan and then the Roman Byzantine Empire managed to acquire smuggled silk moth cocoons. The domesticated moth has a conveniently short life, laying several hundred eggs, only a few of which need to be allowed to mature into a new moth to provide the next generation. The silk worm eggs hatch onto paper and the worms are fed on mulberry leaves. After about 35 days, the worms have grown 1,000-fold and begin spinning the cocoon. The cocoons are soaked in boiling water, which both kills the animal inside and softens the fibres so that they can be unwound to produce the thread.